Hi, and welcome to another Watch Geek video. Today, we're taking a closer look at the new Nova Atlantean, a watch that I named the most original watch of 2021, at least when it comes to watches featured on my channel. As I often like to say, microbrands are usually split into two categories, the ones that do homages and those that try to do things their own way. Nova has been the latter from day one, even though their first model, the Rocketeer, had some design similarities with the Bulgari Octo models. When they launched the Trident, they kinda set the pace for their design, meaning each following model was crazier in design and usually featuring some wild execution of a known function, such as the exposed bezel. With this, they continued the trend. The bezel insert that we see on the outside is actually fixed in place and made out of IP coated steel, while the actual markers you move are floating above the dial creating one of the best 3D effects I have seen on any watch. Internal rotating bezels are nothing new, but the way you operate this one is. Instead of using an additional crown, Nove created a lever system where opening the lever on the side of the case not only unlocks the bezel so you can move it, but also pushes a set of gears that connect the outer grip with the internal floating markers. It is a brilliant solution that makes using the bezel intuitive and impossible to move accidentally, as pushing the lever back in decouples the gears and locks the markers in place. Another advantage over classical internal bezels is the fact the bezel still features 120 clicks, while most other internal bezels have none. The clicks are very smooth and the bezel is very easy to move. If it was a regular bezel, I would say it needs more resistance, but thanks to the fact it is locked in place when you're done setting it, it really is not a problem, while making the setting very easy. Pretty amazing in every way possible, especially when you consider the system doesn't compromise the 300 meters of water resistance this comes with. How they manage that, I have no idea, but it is impressive. Another amazing feature is the loom. This thing is so bright it rivals the likes of Seiko Tuna, bringing out the full potential of the 3D markers, and it is a joy to look at and tilt around in the dark. I'm not sure if it is as durable as the Tuna, but the initial brightness and the amount of loom makes this easily readable throughout the night. The hands are also pretty thick and very easy to read, despite the colorful dial that changes colors depending on the angle of viewing, while the Cyclops for the date helps make it more readable, although I wish it had a bit stronger magnification. And now we come to the case and bracelet. Beautifully made and very complex, it has only one downside, and that is the size. This thing is huge in every way possible except the thickness, which is pretty impressive at only 13 millimeters. The reason for the lack of thickness is the movement used. A Swiss-made Ronda R150 that rivals the ETA and Salida spec-wise while being slightly slimmer. With 28,800 BPH, 40 hours of power reserve, and both hacking and hand winding, it is everything you would expect from a more premium microbrand movement. And to be honest, it's not that bad looking either. The 50mm diameter and almost 56mm lug to lug might sound intimidating, but thanks to the downward slope of the case and end links, it actually manages to hug my 6.7 inch wrist pretty well. Don't get me wrong, it is still very large, but if you have a smaller wrist and you want to wear it, you can. It will wear comfortably and won't look as ridiculous as the dimensions would suggest. Honestly, it wears better than some 42mm watches that have straight lugs and those stupid T-shaped end links. The clasp is machined, friction operated, and comes with a glide adjustment. While it has everything you might want, I wish the glide system was slightly thicker, as like this, it feels under-engineered when compared to the rest of the watch. With a price of $690 for the silver-cased one and $710 for blacked-out one, 
It is a bit expensive for a micro brand but when you consider the complexity of the bezel mechanism itself and the originality of the design you start justifying the price i think nova is evolving in the right direction and with this they made a great base that they should expand on i'm talking about normal dial variants and maybe even an introduction of a smaller version as this one is simply too big for many people Either way, I like what they're doing and can't wait to see what they come up with next. As each one of their models is so different to the previous one, you never know what to expect, making them one of the very few brands out there that are truly exciting, regardless of me liking the design or not. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed and found it useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and until the next video, bye.